Simple Jack. Once upon a time, there was an old man who had two sons. These sons thought themselves very clever indeed. They wanted to marry the king's daughter, who announced that she would marry the man who could speak the best. My sons, are you ready to talk to the princess? You have been studying for a week now. Yes, father. I have memorized every word in the dictionary. I have also memorized the town's newspapers from the past three years. I know them backwards and forwards. And I, father, know every law that was ever passed in our country. I have memorized every one of the laws to the tiniest detail. The father was very proud of them, and to each he gave a horse. To the son who memorized the dictionary and the newspapers, he gave a black horse. To the son who knew all the laws by heart, he gave a white horse. But the old man had another son. His name was Jack, but everyone called him Simple Jack because he was not as educated as his brothers. Hello, everyone. Where are you going? Why are you all dressed so nicely? Haven't you heard? The king's daughter has announced that she will marry the man who speaks the best. We are going to the palace to win her hand in marriage. Father, I want to go too. Give me a horse. I can win the hand of the princess. Ha! <laughs> you going to the princess? You can't even say one smart thing. You'll make a fool of yourself. Don't talk nonsense, Jack. I'm not going to give you a horse. You have nothing to say to the princess. You're not educated like your brothers. Well, if you won't give me a horse, then I'll ride my goat. He can carry me well. Here I come. And so Simple Jack got on his goat and was on his way to the palace. He sang songs loudly as he rode on his goat. But his brothers, who were ahead of him, did not say a word. They were both thinking about all the clever things they were going to say to the princess. Later, Simple Jack caught up with them. Hello, brothers. Here I am. Look what I picked up from the ground. It's a dead crow. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to give it to the princess, of course. You do that? Ha <laughs> ha! What a fool you are, Jack. The brothers rode ahead, laughing at their brother. But simple Jack caught up with them again. See what else I picked up? What now? A wooden shoe with the upper part missing? I suppose you're going to give that to the princess too. Why, of course I will. The brothers rode ahead again, all the while making fun of their brother Jack. But simple Jack caught up with them again. What have you found this time, you fool? The best thing yet to give to the princess. I found this soft, fine sand on the road. The sand just runs through the fingers like silk. I filled my pockets with it. Bah! You are stupid, brother. Get out of our way and don't waste our time. The brothers galloped ahead, leaving Simple Jack far behind on his goat. They arrived at the palace and stood in a line with all the other men who had come to talk with the princess. 
One by one, the men went into a large room in the palace. And one by one, they were kicked out because they couldn't say a word to the princess. They were all too nervous. And they all heard the princess say, Oh, he is useless. Away with him. Finally, it came time for the brothers to go before the princess. The first brother who memorized the dictionary and the newspapers entered the room. But he was so nervous, he could not remember a single word from the dictionary. And he saw that there was a large stove in the middle of the room. Oh, um, it's so hot in here. Yes, so it is. My father is roasting a chicken. What have you got to say for yourself? Bah, bah. Ah, he is useless. Away with him. And so the first brother was kicked out of the palace. Then it was the second brother's turn. And he could not remember a single law to talk about. Instead, he saw the big stove and felt very hot. It is very hot in here. Yes, it is. My father is roasting a chicken. What have you got to say for yourself? Um, oh, uh, oh. He is useless. Away with him. Then it was Simple Jack's turn. He rode into the large room on his goat. It's too hot in here. Yes, I know. It's because my father is roasting a chicken on the stove. How wonderful! Will you let me roast this crow at the same time? Of course you may. It would be my pleasure. However, I do not have a pot to put the crow in. Do you have something we can use? Of course I do. Here, let's use this wooden shoe. Well, this looks like an interesting dish. What shall we use for saws? I have that in my pocket. Here is some sand. I have plenty more in my other pockets. I like you. You can give me an answer for everything. You shall be my husband. But do you know that every word you speak is being written down by the clerk? He is very educated, you know. The princess said this to Simple Jack. To make him nervous, but Simple Jack was not nervous at all, not even a little bit. The clerk thinks he's important, does he? Well, I have this for him. Simple Jack threw the rest of the sand he had in his pockets at the clerk. Hmm, that was very clever of you. I have much to learn from you. And so Simple Jack married the princess. He was made a king and sat upon the throne. And we have this report from the clerk. But can we believe him? <laughs>